talk to the experts and I see the potential for a more prosperous and equitable future. The signs are unmistakable. The science is undeniable. And the cost of inaction is keeps mounting. The United States isn't waiting. We are resolving to take action. Not only the, our federal government, but our cities and our states all across our country. Small businesses, large businesses, large corporations, American workers in every field. By maintaining those investments and putting these people to work, the United States sets out on the road to cut a greenhouse gases in half, in half by the end of this decade. You know, these steps will set America on a path of net zero emissions economy by no later than 2050. But the truth is, America represents less than 15 percent of the world's emissions. No nation can solve this crisis on our own, as I know you all fully understand. All of us, all of us, and particularly those of us who represent the world's largest economies, we have to step up. You know, those that do take action and make bold investments in their people and clean energy future will win the good jobs of tomorrow and make their economies more resilient and more competitive. So let's run that race, win more, win more sustainable future than we have now, overcome the existential crisis of our times. We know just how critically important that is because scientists tell us that this is the decisive decade. This is the decade we must make decisions that will avoid the worst consequences of the climate crisis.